everybody this is Banksy here and today I'm gonna to be presenting to you the Romer Chronicles volume 1 thank you for all the support that I've been receiving lately I'm really happy to see all these people that I do know and some people that I don't know even just giving my it's giving me some really nice support for this series and I intend on keeping it on for the entire season so, first, I'm going to go over a general outline of how scrims went for each day, judging on like how easy I felt it was and what I was able to do, problems that I knew while watching the demos, and then I'll give an overall difficulty rating, basically just going over how easy or hard it felt for me as a player to do things for my team. Sunday, that was probably the easiest scrim of the entire week. We, I got to do so much, I got to get away with so many of my plays successfully. There were a few, a few derps, honestly, and there was a little bit of experimentation from my end on sack timings, but overall, that was just a very easy scrim for me. It felt like I was able to get away with a lot of things. Some things I probably shouldn't be getting away with. Now, the 16th Monday is probably what I'd consider for me my hardest scrim in terms of being able to do stuff. I was getting shut down on a lot of my like sacks on Sunshine. I struggled with pacing with my team on Sunshine. However, whenever it came down to Metalworks and Snake Water. I was able to play a lot more of my game and just start contributing to the team a lot more. And the weird thing is about Romer is that I honestly thought that I just sharded on the Sunshine completely just because I was looking at my stats and I didn't do too hot at all. But watching that demo back makes me realize that all these situations that I was talking about where I'm getting rolled, I, it wasn't really that I was getting like hard owned the entire game more so that like occasionally I get like rolled. So we just have to as like it's roamers in general and soldier in general it's like all about impacts. So even if I go like five and thirty during the scrim, as long as those thirty deaths are like impactful then I'm happy. So on Tuesday it was definitely an easier scrim on my end, and I had a lot of successful timings onto the medic, decent amount of successful sacks compared to Monday, however, I still had those pacing issues, and I still kept trying to force kills that just weren't there, and I did get better with that a little bit throughout the week. The day where I was like, alright, I need to stop competing for kills that just aren't kills. Now Wednesday, I did struggle with pacing a bit on process and snake water. Snake water it being uh, more odd for me because snake water is usually one of my worst odd maps on Rover, but I did indeed struggle with pacing on that map. I still had successful snake mid snakes today. And it's one thing I am proud of is that I that entire night I was I was adapting to their mids basically the entire night and basically coming up with counter plays almost every single mid to what and notice what they were doing. And Thursday, definitely another easy scrim for me honestly. Like it felt like I was able to basically do whatever I wanted. fun and yeah I I know that I got rolled a couple of times on Sunday on Thursday I mean but 
overall I felt like this was a good learning experience just applying some of the things that I know is a problem and trying to get better at it. I definitely felt that my gameplay from mundane has drast had drastically improved by the time I got to Wednesday because I'm looking at demos, I'm recognizing that I do have these issues and I'm doing my best to fix these issues and now that we actually do have a full roster, we didn't get a full roster until literally like Wednesday. So now that we have a full roster, it's definitely going to be easier with that. Now, I'd say the overall difficulty rating of this week is probably going to be uh, with uh, S being like literally impossible for me to do anything. I felt like I could do whatever I wanted, like I would just shit on people without really trying. I would say that the overall difficulty rating of uh, this week is probably, I'd say a C. Like there are teams still punishing me for having bad sacks and bad plays, but over for the most part, those were, for the most part, it felt like I could do basically in I could at least attempt some of the things that I wanted to do and get away with it against most of the teams that I played against this week. And I'd say my main takeaways, Process and Sunshine are definitely consistently my weaker maps on a rumor. That is mainly because of my pacing, my sack timings, and occasionally I feed at bad times because I'm tilting and I feel like I need to make something happen because I... because. My, in my eyes, my team was doing too hot. But again, I just need to trust the process. Just trust my team to be able to do whatever they're supposed to do. And I just need to be able to be able to control my tilt more. My big wins for this week. I was definitely good at getting behind and syncing up with my team for collapses. I was getting really insane timings onto medics at times as well. The entire week we had very successful double bombs for on mids, even even on the even the scrims that were like harder for our team in general. And then over the week I was starting to get better at adapting to what individual teams do on our mids. I'd say that this was a definitely a very good week for like growth because I'm refining my gameplay trying to see what I like doing and what I don't like doing and I'm just getting my feet wet for rumor again where I'm seeing what these teams like to do and I'm just getting good at adapting. Hopefully I want to get harder, honestly I want to get harder teams next week probably because as it stands right now yes I feel like I'm being it feels like I'm being punished sometimes but not all the time so every time I, w I make a dumb play I want to be in, I want like a difficulty B or A rating next week so that I just gain to learn more from it I'd rather get rolled in. I'd rather get like rolled so that I can benefit from it rather than trying to playing against lesser teams and not really gaining much from it other than I'm solid because I know that for a fact that I'm not really too like I'm not like the smartest player or like the best player in advance so I just want to be the best version of myself as, as I can and hopefully the scrims are probably harder for me next week more demanding so that I just learn so with that, I hope you guys enjoyed my little progress video, and I'll see you guys again next week, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your week, and hope you guys, good luck on your guys' scrims as well if you're, if you guys are scrimming.